one of the, uh, the hallmarks of many things that are going on in potatoes these days is the fact that things are changing. And unfortunately, PVY is no exception. So what we have seen in the last 10 years or so is a change in the PVY population. If we go back to the, the PVY that we've known for decades, we're talking now about the common strain of PVY, which is designated PVY O. Uh, as of about 1999, we began to pick up a strain of PVY that's referred to as PVYN. Now, in this case, the N stands for necrotic, but what it really designates is that this is necrotic in tobacco. So PVYN is really more of a problem for tobacco than it is for a potato. So by way of contrast, uh, in tobacco, for instance, PVYO, or the common strain of PBY is responsible for relatively mild symptoms and doesn't produce a real problem there. Where PBYN causes the veins to become necrotic and is a very serious disease in tobacco. Now if we take the same two strains of PBY and uh, put them in potato, we discover that PBYO, or the common strain of PBY, causes a severe symptom in most varieties of potato, where PBYN causes a relatively mild symptom to no symptom at all in many varieties. So th this is where the designation comes in. Uh, more recently we've heard things like PDYNO or PDYNTN. And I'll just take a moment if I can to describe some of those things. The, uh, the PDYNO is believed to be a recombinant type of PDY that has some characteristics of O and some characteristics of N. And we think that this may be due to the fact that the two types of viruses are mingling now uh, out there within the potato crop. So we're getting these new strains. Probably the most ominous of these new strains is the one that we designated as NTN. And in this case, the designation means PDY N type tuber necrotic. So these strains of the virus can actually cause an internal defect in potato. Uh, it looks very much like the type of damage that you would get with, say, porky ring spot caused by tobacco rattle virus. And uh, it has the potential to be a real problem in the future, which is part of the reason that we're trying to really keep an eye on it. This is something that we're going to need to sort out in the coming uh, years and, and months and years here is you know, just which varieties uh, have the potential to have a problem with NTM. There's been a considerable amount of work done on this virus in Europe where they've been dealing with it for more than 20 years. But very little here in the U.S. and very little in U.S. variety.